Hello everyone. So as I promised in my last video, today I am going to explain you about hormones and mood swings. As I told you, hormones control your mood swings and you can easily control your mood, your behavior and your response to anything in your life with a certain amount of regularity, certain diets and understanding your hormone system of the body. So there are many different glands which secrete different types of hormones in your body and that is why you are feeling different mood. Okay. So I am going to take out one after the another. Uh, one by one I will take out glands and I will explain you what you can do when you are in a particular mood which can relieve that type of mood and bring you back to normality. So we we'll start with uh, adrenal gland. Adrenal gland as everyone knows very few people know that uh, it doesn't only control your mood your brain but it also controls your appetite it also controls the level of stress and depression your aggression so basically there are like few six hormones which adrenal gland uh, handles one is adrenaline another is noradrenaline then it is cortisol then it is uh, androstenol, then it is uh, estradiol. So these type of hormones are secreted by adrenal gland. So let us see first function of the adrenal gland is being anxious, nervous and excited. So uh, let, let's see from the perspective of the body. Whenever you are excited or whenever you are anxious, okay. Your brain depicts the same phenomena to release the same hormone. Even if you are anxious or you are excited at the same level, your brain uses the same hormone to uh, guide your body. So it is a similar kind of response for your body when you are anxious, nervous or excited. That is controlled by your adrenal gland and adrenaline. Similarly, uh, the next is uh, noradrenaline. It is similar to adrenaline, but it controls more of your energy and attentiveness. Okay. So whenever there is a shift in your attentiveness, whenever there is a shift in your energy, there is a shift in your noradrenaline. Right. And whenever there is anxiety, whenever there is excitement or whenever there is uh, uh, nervousness, that is your adrenaline. So the basic way to control these two things is reducing uh, the amount of sugar you are eating in your diet, reduce sugar, reduce carbs in your diet, okay, remove all types of carbohydrates for like three days, eat less sugar, uh, switch to jaggery, that is another solution for this, if you are feeling these types of uh, mood errors in your body, in your mind. Next is uh, uh, endosterol. What does that do so first of all you need to understand that uh, your aggression and your rage is not just controlled by your brain but also by your stomach the amount of ph inside your stomach the more acidic your stomach is it also increases serotonin too now what happens is your uh, brain receptors became more conscious about everything around you and it gives faster response so that is something which will create aggression in you similarly uh, when there is a change in aldosterone you will face uh, uh, appetite changes with respect to mood errors okay the baroreceptors of your brain would be uh, changed this is why uh, uh, appetite change will come start coming you will have a hunger at night or you will see uh, you are you are having a change in eating habits uh, now you are liking food which you used to dislike or uh, or you can say you are uh, disliking food which you were uh, liking first so these are all the changes in your uh, aldosterone and androstenedione so how to control these two uh, there is a simple thing uh, uh, correct your sleeping pattern okay so correcting your sleeping pattern will uh, alter the mood alter the uh, diet cycle and alter the sleep cycle so sleep cycle and eating cycle if you correct it 
it will automatically adjust these two hormones you don't need to add any type of supplements except uh, reducing sugar right your complete adrenal gland would work fast and with work balancedly when you reduce sugar in your diet okay so after that we are coming to estradiol uh, estradiol is something which will make you vulnerable what is vulnerable that you will be more prone to stress and depression and uh, let's talk, not talk about just stress and depression negative emotions also the positive emotions whether it is positive emotions or negative emotions you will be more susceptible you will be more receptible a slight uh, pinch of something in your life will take you uh, into a big swing in uh, on one direction and a slight uh, changes in your life will take you to another swing this problem is mostly related with women also men but uh, with women it is more pronounced during their period cycle that is because uh, the total hormonal changes are going on but this also happens when someone is uh, regular into stress and depression or they are more receptible with stress and depression it also creates empathy into people like so feeling pain or other this this is something uh, which is connected with estradiol function and you can change it by eating more magnesium and vitamin c together right magnesium and vitamin c okay and last but not the least is cortisol what does cortisol do is it uh, reduces your stress and depression level and uh, sometimes uh, when the cortisol function is not good you can also have skin problems hair loss and all this type of things so what to do uh, for that for that you go to vitamin b b5 b6 and with that take zinc zinc and vitamin b combination would almost resolve your cortisol problems but if not you can also also take magnesium in your diet okay so this was the main adrenal gland hormones which can alter these types of mood in your body now uh, if you want to fix the overall function of adrenal gland what you can do is you can add some supplements in your diet ashwagandha is very good ashwagandha once in a morning for 7 days is very good for maintaining your adrenal gland balance but make sure that you have ample sleep sleep two times a day don't sleep one time a day for a few days around i would say 15 days for 15 days change your sleep cycle don't sleep uh, for long like 8 hours sleep 5 uh, hours one time and then 2 hours another time a day then regularize your eating habit take heavy breakfast okay then after that you can take a little less lunch but take breakfast more heavier than lunch so that when your brain wake up it gets enough food uh, processing and uh, it get ample of energy to work with because uh, it's not only adrenaline which you have to focus there are many other hormones and brain function is also related with stomach so it is very much needed that you take heavy breakfast and reduce uh, uh, dinner take heavy breakfast reduce dinner and take medium lunch you can also take heavy snacks at 4 pm right so keep more snack based uh, 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 timings for your eating habits after that uh, you have to reduce caffeine in your diet reduce sugar and caffeine together don't take caffeine because caffeine always reduces adrenal uh, function so it is necessary to reduce caffeine and sugar both increase jaggery in your diet you can also take jaggery water okay uh, in afternoon i would suggest apart from that you can also uh, take a few natural remedies few natural remedies like ginseng that is also very good uh, after ginseng comes uh, basil basil leaves are also good so all these types of remedies uh, balance your adrenal gland along with this uh, you can take uh, vitamin c b5 b6 zinc and magnesium all together these all things will balance your adrenal gland very fast and quick apart from that uh, you will easily control your mood swings in like 10 to uh, 15 days at max but you need to be regular in these things if you see any types of uh, disorders like anxiety nervousness excite excitement or you say uh, aggression uh, stress depression a change in mood swings vulnerability to empathy uh, over empathy 
or you can say uh, small things are affecting you too much so all these are adrenal gland issues and you can convert it with uh, reducing carbohydrate in your diet so basically what we have to do we have to reduce the burden of stomach okay and the liver so that adrenal gland works faster as and when the liver function increases liver has to do more work adrenal gland goes weak so we have to uh, generalize by doing something which will reduce the function of liver and increase the function of adrenal gland right next thing is reducing all types of uh, junk food uh, take more of uh, water in your uh, daily routine that is that that's again going to benefit you for your adrenal glands because then you will learn how to control your mood swings right so this was adrenal gland which uh, controls all these types of behavioral issues like anxiety and all things but yes by following these diet tips you can always control this mood swings so whenever you feel such mood swings switch to this diet or else you can connect to medic with other so moving to next next center is uh, your cns your central nervous system in your central nervous system there are few hormones that are different from adrenal glands uh, which help in functioning of your uh, central nervous system you can also call it amygdala it releases few hormones uh, which are responsible for your nervous activity how your body reacts with your brain and how your mood reacts with your brain okay so it is as much important as your brain so among that the first one is galanin and orexin another one is orexin galanin and orexin so galanin is something uh, uh, which which is a similar type of hormone which is released even uh, when you die you know even when you are supposed to die uh, a similar type of galanin uh, with some another uh, chemical structure is released so it is a natural human killer also uh, when you are dying but when galanin function is higher uh, uh, there is some uh, uh, disproportionate in your blood uh, blood pressure in your sleep cycle uh, in your mood regulation of your mood right i am not talking about your mood but regulation of your mood so there will be a continuous mood swing right uh, a mood swing can come come and go but if there is recurring mood swing the same recurring mood swing is coming back and going forth so that is the function of your galanin in proportion uh, then you can also see a uh, uh, sleep pattern has changed that are these all are signs of your galanin response now uh, there are no specific food or like nutrition that can uh, inhibit this uh, hormone but yes a study shows that uh, you can try eating high fat diet for 72 hours right high fat and carbohydrate diet for 72 hours so what that will do that it will reduce the burden of your uh, heart uh, center and increase the burden of your solar plexus like your dige uh, your digestive system would work more faster why because a uh, galanin is something which is co expressed with noradrenaline and serotonin right so when these two hormones meet uh, get uh, uh, combined the effect of galanin is uh, uh, regulated increases decreases or regulated right so uh, the galanin function is always co expressed with two hormones noradrenaline and serotonin it is a combination like chemical reaction so that chemical reaction is very much uh, different from releasing one hormone so we cannot control it with a simple uh, change or supplement in diet but yes uh, you can uh, control it by eating high fat food and high carbohydrate food for like 72 hours again i am not suggesting this for people who have very high cholesterol very uh, hi, uh, high blood pressure and diabetes i am suggesting this for like people who are under 50 okay because uh, this is still a, a subject of uh, research uh, the next hormone is orexin orexin so orexin is something that governs your arousal that governs your sleeping pattern not sleep but your sleeping pattern 
that also governs your eating habits that also governs your uh, panic attack post traumatic syndrome ptsd so if you are going through panic attacks and something uh, uh, which is uh, help, recollecting your past traumas you are stuck in your past so that is something uh, which is uh, to be controlled by orexin and uh, i uh, one thing you must know that orexin is something which uh, cannot be directly controlled if you reduce the amount of glucose and uh, the hormones that handle glucose then you can control orexin okay so the easiest way to decrease glucose is to increase fermented food okay so we we will not pull like this we will pull like this because it is orexin <laughs> it doesn't get pull like this you have to pull orexin like this so uh, we will pull it different way we would reduce glucose function by increasing the diet of fermented food like pickles so when you increase the diet of fermented uh, fermented food like pickles and everything which is sour uh, which is kept overnight so what happens the glucose uh, receptors decrease the function and as and when the glucose receptor decreases the function the function of orexin increases okay so we can't uh, directly change orexin so what we'll do we will uh, do the reverse we will stop the function of the opposite hormone that is glucose right and to stop the function of that opposite hormone glucose you have to increase fermented uh, fermented food and uh, uh, pickles in your diet eat more pickles eat more sour food i am not telling citric acid i am telling sour foods okay especially the fermented food ones all types of fermented uh, fermented food will decrease the glucose function inside your body and that glucose decrease of function of glucose will increase the orexin function and that is way uh, one way you you can reduce your panic attacks and this is very less people who know that if you are getting panic attacks you have post traumatic syndrome uh, you have st- recurring stress and depression eat more pickles and reduce the diet of glucose do this for 7 days and watch the difference okay you will come back to vedi vidana right so uh, uh, let's talk uh, go ahead the next thing is uh, relaxin relaxin is a very peculiar hormone okay uh, relaxin is something uh, which is uh, secreted by uh, corpus luteum inside uh, the ovary or the prostate gland of males right or it is secreted during the menstrual cycle of females right so even though uh, the gonads and genital gland control this but it also controls your central nervous system uh, it also controls the amygdala function so relaxing relaxing 3 is also something uh, which helps you relieve from things uh, like uh, it gives uh, it regulates the circadian rhythm it regulates your heartbeat it uh, gives uh, more arousal it helps in sleep disorders okay so all these functions they also reduce stress and uh, stress and depression but the main problem of relaxing is that it is secreted inside your body you cannot uh, increase the function of something which is secreted somewhere else but yes you can always have supplements to boost up right so uh, i would suggest that if you want to increase or balance relaxing in your body uh, try eating uh more appetite uh, increase your appetite okay increase your appetite and uh, especially in your afternoon area not in breakfast like when we talked about adrenaline uh, and your adrenal glands we need to eat heavy breakfast right and less lunch but when you are talking about cns central nervous system you have to reverse it out when you are talking about relaxation you have to eat more things in lunch and reduce the breakfast burden so that is how when your body is in your peak hours of attentiveness at that time you are increasing the energy level over the adrenal we increase the energy level as soon as the body has started right it's like a motor bike it starts with the first gear when you are wake up as the afternoon comes it goes into second or third gear and 
evening it goes into fourth fifth gear at night uh, the engine is exhausted so in in the case of adrenal gland we increases uh, we increase the acceleration during breakfast and reduce it during lunch but in case of central nervous system what we do we start low we uh, we didn't accelerate in first and second gear we accelerate in third and fourth gear okay so we increase the diet in lunch we reduce the diet in breakfast okay so similarly in relaxing have more appetite during afternoon don't eat too much of breakfast okay that is something which can help okay okay and the next thing is uh, uh you can also try uh, eating more of uh, green chilies see this is my own drink i uh, you won't find this anywhere else but yes if you eat more green chilies in your diet all three times i won't say you eat spicy green chilies you can also eat uh, normal green chilies which are not spicy but increase green chilies and also increase grapes both these things i have noticed that it helps in the functioning of relaxin it it gives similar kind of result because relaxation is something also which is connected to over emotions or emotional effects of your brain so whenever you are feeling too much of emotions whenever you are having emotional outbursts uh, that is relaxation coming inside your brain okay that is why uh, women in that period cycle have more emotional arousal whenever there is more relaxation right so what uh, there are two things which can control these things i have noticed is uh, green chilies and grapes okay you can try it so the next uh, we are going to shift on to amino acids like peptides so peptides also play a very big role uh, in your central nervous system because as you know amino acid contains nitrogen that is why they are called amino and with nitrogen nitrogen is the main source of brain activity so nitrogen containing peptides are also uh, inside neurotransmitters and neuromodulators these are something which can uh, what you say modulate your muscles increase epithelial secretions and uh, uh, if you are feeling some muscular pain uh, which is continuously recurring which is psychological in nature so that is because of vip vasoactive intestinal peptide okay that is something which is creating your muscular stress inside your body due to your psychological uh, manifestation so this is a tricky thing what you have to do you have to increase diet of seafood increase have some uh, meat if you are not taking i would advise you that your uh, vegetarian should increase meat in the diet but yes uh, you should do whatever is necessary for your body your uh, this uh, god has made us omnivorous there is a reason we the, they have given us teeth for biting flesh we are supposed to eat flesh now it is your own brain who is telling you not to eat flesh the lion would not think the same way okay. so how eggs fish and uh, you can also have seafood seafood also helps in vip another thing you can add in your diet is yogurt and banana yogurt and banana is also very good remedy if you are trying to increase your vip functions uh, because uh, we cannot add uh, uh, amino acids directly but yes there are amino acids in a quite big amount in banana and yogurt so you can add these things in your diet this will increase your vip function and whenever this function is increased you will see a drastic change in your uh, blood flow in gastrointestinal tract okay so you will have a uh, good uh, hunger you can eat more you will have less anxiety and all these things are also controlled by your brain function through this hormone so it is called vaso intestinal peptide vip since it is secreted in your intestines but it is affecting your central nervous system next is pacp i won't go into long uh, long technical names like pituitary uh, endolite cyclase uh, polypeptide because you see uh, biological terms are nowhere worth nowhere worthy you call it simple pacp peptide use your temporal lobe to function don't use your temporal 
temporal lobe to store such big names we have computers for that we have books for that at least it will increase your brain function if you decrease your unnecessary saving so just like it is important to um, what you say delete uh, files which are not necessary it is important to delete memories which are not necessary to increase your ram function similar is not saving technical names and understanding the hormones so pscp is also another peptide it is also amino acid in nature so what does pscp do pscp uh, uh, controls a lot of uh, what you say uh, internal arousals like desires if you see a change in your desires you cannot uh, focus in one thing in your life and uh, there are sleep disorders because there are a lot of thoughts going on overthinking is there so this also happens with this thing uh, increase and decrease of pscp stress and depression is very common uh, during these things so uh, there is no particular uh, what you say supplement which can affect it very much but uh, in from my point of view what i am trying to guide you is uh, finding another way like this so another way like this is promoting your kidney function okay because pscp also uh, gives adverse effect on adhd adhd is uh, something uh, which is your hydraulic uh, water balance of the body which is maintained by your kidney and your brain so what happens is if you can't control pscp increase the kidney function so it will automatically re uh, regulate the pscp level what you can do is uh, have go group in the morning every day for like uh, 60 days minimum 2 months uh, for maximum 3 months don't take more than 3 months because your body will get habituated maximum 3 months not more than 3 months and regular in the morning before you do brush okay before brushing the first thing you should eat is uh, go through with copper iron water copper iron water is you keep water in a copper vessel full night and next morning whenever you wake up take water and go through powder with it you can also increase rajma in your diet okay so we are increasing the function of kidney and nephrons so as soon as uh, we are increasing the sacral function it will regulate the function of your uh, cns Spe uh, specifically psc that is something which you can do and this is my own trick uh, because uh, medicines are something that it will always going to have side effects and steroids are the worst so if you don't want to go into these things uh, you can always uh, use some natural remedies or something like uh, which will do the opposite side strong so this was about ps so we talked about galenin orexin pscp basoic intestinal peptide relaxin these were all a part of amygdala central nervous system and before that we talked about adrenaline gland adrenaline noradrenaline uh, estradiol cortisol and all different hormones so today we are keeping up till over here in the next video part 2 i am going to shift to another gland and another hormones but uh, this video was exclusively for adrenal gland and amygdala the two prime glands for which you need to know and i hope you guys uh, understood some new things today and thanks for being part of vedik vidada if you know if you want any such advice feel free to call thank you